pictures with the cuff rolled up and the cuff. Okay, here we go. Hello, hello, everybody. It is a beautiful day today here in Northern California. Today, we're gonna to be having a bit of a product review on the Climb K52 motorcycle jean. Now, I've had these jeans for quite a while and I've ridden probably four to 5,000 miles in these jeans. I wanted to wait to do a review until I've had some good ride time just to see how they handle over time. I have not crashed in these jeans, thankfully, so I can't tell you how much protection they offer from that standpoint, but I can definitely talk to you about the fit and feel, how they look on and off the bike. So throughout the video, you'll see some pictures of me standing with the pants on and then also me on the bike. Now I paid $309 for these pants and I have the tall version which is more expensive because I am six foot three and based off the recommendations of someone of my height it was recommended to get the tall version so I spent the extra I think it was $20, $30 to get the tall version. I am wearing a size 34 and my normal waist on, on jeans is 33, 34. And I can pretty quickly say that these fit very well. Um, these are kind of loose, so these are kind of straight cut jeans. Uh, they're not really tapered, but they feel comfortable. Um, so you can move around, um, so I can stretch out my leg and I can bend my leg and all that stuff and they don't feel tight, they don't feel constricted, but they also don't feel too baggy either. So they're nice standard straight cut jeans. Now these are lined with Kevlar and I'll show you a picture of the jeans turned inside out where you can see where all the pads are. Uh, but there are pads on the knees, on the hips and on the tailbone. And while riding on the bike, the only pads I can say I really feel are the knee pads, which I do have on right now. And so you can kind of see there's a little bit of an outline. I will say also just standing, you do feel the knee pads, but you really don't feel the hip pads or the pad in the tailbone. So you do notice them, but once you start riding long enough, you get used to it. So you don't really notice it after a while, but you can kind of see it. There is a little bit of an outline, but you know what to look for. This is the black version. Um, but after washing these a few times, they do seem to have a bit of a bluish tint to them now, which I kind of like actually. <laughs> I don't know if that's something that is standard or is that supposed to happen, or if I just washed these incorrectly, but these kind of have like a bluish, yeah, like a bluish tint. And so you can see in some of the pictures how some of the blue is kind of in there. How I wash them is I just wash them with under cold water. I don't use any hot water, just cold water regular detergent and all that and then I let these air dry I don't put them in the dryer so I don't know if washing them is gonna change the color over time but I kind of like how it looks actually so that's not necessarily a bad thing in my book but if you want straight black jeans that stay black then you know if color is really that important to you then maybe these aren't the right option so these are very comfortable uh, they do offer the Kevlar throughout the entire liner of the pants uh, I've worn these in the summer I've worn these in the winter uh, in the summer, they stay very cool. They breathe very well, so I don't ever feel like I'm overheating, even though they're black and they absorb heat. They, they still feel very comfortable over time. And in the winter, I would say they don't do a great job of keeping you warm, but they're not exactly meant for that either. So I would recommend wear a liner underneath your jeans if you're riding in cold weather, just to help your legs stay a bit warm. But nonetheless, these are very comfortable. Uh, they are a bit baggy at the bottom when I'm standing. So what I'll do is, uh, so I've taken a couple pictures with the cuff rolled up and the cuff. Okay, here we go. Well then, <laughs> reasons why you should always be paying attention. Uh, okay there. No, what I wanted to do is almost crash while reviving the <laughs> while reviewing the jeans. Uh, whew, okay, this is why you should always stay vigilant, everybody. Uh, always be prepared. So, if I have the jeans, so right now I have them all the way down. So when I'm riding, they look good. Um, they cover the enough of the boot. 
Uh, they don't look too short, they don't look too long when I'm riding, so when my knee is bent. Now, that being said, when I am standing, they do look a bit baggy. <laughs> Ooh, scrape the peg. Now, when I am riding, they do look a bit baggy on the bottom. Keep that in mind. If you're gonna be standing around, you're gonna be wearing these in public, you might just wanna roll up the cuff so it looks a little bit neater. But if you're gonna be riding, you can roll it down or you can keep it up um, if you wanna show off more of your boot. <laughs> uh, but personally, I like to have it down more. These are marketed as you can, I can wear these wherever. I personally wouldn't, that's not really my thing. Overall, these jeans fit very well. I have no complaints about the fit. Um, they look great in my opinion. Now, the only consideration that I would say for you is, is it worth the money? Is it worth $300 or the $280 for the regular version? I mean, in my opinion, not really. The other pair of jeans I have were about half the price and functionally, they're the same, in my opinion. The Kevlar doesn't go down as far. It doesn't have the hip pads. It doesn't have the tail, uh, the tailbone pad. But realistically speaking, do you really need that? I don't know. Like if you want to be ultra safe, then yes, these might be worth more worthwhile for that extra padding. But in general, just from studies from motorcycle injuries, you know, you're you should have motorcycle jeans. Don't get me wrong. If you can afford it, you should have motorcycle jeans. But should you invest this much money into these pair of jeans? I, I don't know. That's a that's a decision for you to make. Um, these aren't good enough to where I would say, yes, it's a slam dunk. You should absolutely pay the $300 for these or $280 for these when there are other jeans on the market that are at a fraction of the price and fairly comparable. So if you want to watch the other video of my other pair of motorcycle jeans, you can click up in the annotation in the corner and I'll show you that pair of jeans. Um, it's the selvage jeans street and steel selvage i believe so i would recommend those i think over these if the hip armor and the tailbone armor is not that important to you if it is then yeah i like these these are good i i enjoy wearing these they're comfortable and they do offer overall more protection now another thing that i would say that these are better than my other pair of motorcycle jeans is the padding that comes with it on the knees these are far, far, far more comfortable, and it is it is way easier to get the pads in and out of the jeans. So whenever I wash it, I take all the pads out, and it's much easier to get them in the right spot on, on your knees. The other pair of jeans, it's pretty much just a loose pad, so they, they'll shift around a lot, they'll move around a lot, and the pads are uh, more stiff, and they're not as comfortable as these. These are more flexible. So there's that, but again, is that worth $150? No. What I would probably do is buy that other pair of jeans and then just buy different knee pads. That's probably a better use of your money. But overall, I like these jeans. Would I buy these again? Probably not. I'd probably stick with another pair of cheaper motorcycle jeans that still offer adequate protection. Because again, the reason why you have motorcycle jeans is mostly for sliding protection, not necessarily impact protection. Um, so knee pads is, is important. It is good to have, but I think from my understanding, it's mostly sliding protection that you need in jeans. My overall recommendation would be look at other pairs of jeans, unless hip and tailbone armor is critical to you and you have that much money to throw around. Um, I will look at other pairs of jeans. These are very comfortable. These look very cool. They look great. But is it worth the premium that you're paying for it? In my opinion, no. Um, throughout, I'm also going to put up all the details of all the specifications, all the armor, all the perks of, of these pants in the description. So if you want to get a more detailed summary of everything that you're getting with the pants, you can look through there. But I'm just kind of talking about the more obvious things that I looked at that I considered when I purchased these. So if you have any questions about these pants, feel free to leave a comment below. And uh, that's gonna be about it. Just a really short video today. Not much else to say about these jeans other than they're good, but very expensive. So if you liked what you saw, don't forget to like. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. I've got videos coming out every Friday. Don't forget to share this video with anybody that you think would be that would benefit from it. So if there's any of your buddies who are looking at buying motorcycle pants and they're considering these, send this video to them. 
I've got a playlist of all the other gear that I am currently wearing and currently reviewing. I still have some work to do, so I encourage you to subscribe so that way you don't miss any of those videos when they do come out. I upload every Friday, so you can look forward to those videos. And again, leave a comment if you have any questions specifically on these pants or my other pair of pants or any of the other gear that I've published a video on. So with that, as always, be brave, do good, take care of yourselves, everybody. Peace.